access to several services in most parts of Ghana has become a major problem which may not be resolved anytime soon. In this part of the country, challenges such as poor road networks among others put the people here at a disadvantage. This will ultimately affect the achievement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Here at Chome Apedo in the whole west district of the Volta region, residents have to travel long distances to access some services such as healthcare. Although there has been a cheap compound in place since it was completed in 2019, it is yet to be made operational. The residents say they have to transport their sick relatives on motorbikes to the nearest facility in Jolokwita, the district's capital for treatment, since that is the only means of transport due to the bad nature of their roads. Some residents have been speaking to City News on the issue and say the operationalization of the chips compound will go a long way to help them. This abandoned chief compound was put up by who West District Assembly. The project started in 2016, completed in 2019, and has been abandoned for about 16 for about six years now. Uh, this has been a problem to the community, and my people are not very happy at all. In fact, in terms of difficulties, if you want to assess good health care, unless you go to nearby communities, and the road network in this town is also not good. So how do you take care of yourself if there is on, on certain moments like this? In fact, this is very, very serious to us. For about three months now, there is this painful swelling in the form of non-healing wound, in the form of a broly oxa, disturbing people in town. I am appealing to whole West District Health Directorate to come as a matter of agency to seek survey to this thing. And I'm also using the opportunity to appeal to whole West District Assembly as a matter of agency to inaugurate facility. Surrounding communities in whole West are all enjoying good roads, but my community, Chume Apedu, has been left out from the national kick. The road network from Amfueta to Ho is about seven kilometers. But this road, since the era of President Mahama, has been left out. It is very, very serious for us to even move a patient from Chume Apedu here to the nearby communities because the only portable means of transportation is motorbike. How do you carry a sick person on the motorbike to the nearby chief center or health center? This is so serious to us and we are calling on them. We are just pleading on their behalf, the chiefs and the people of Chuma Apedo. So we want to hear something nice from them, in fact, between the year. I have been a very Chume to and Fueta du Co, the film to my fifty, Savio Zana. Ke a move back when I like the baby. Niaponuko coide at Belimera, coide a similar swagba. Alebe Niaponuko china brejig brena. Fifi a mola, a do yoke a mojila, a vuvisore, ke you can your passenger volum at Tonto G. Aidehu. Do oko a docona contractor. A be a fabu burros in Yiki, name Macatuan, a befe, a drewiki, Gake, a momo of a bo, a wole jiffy filler, Gake Audi, a more colleta tabeleke, a bobozona, a leve mir fukwe, a legbe, Tamiape, a simi yula, a yagba. You fokalana, watch on you to feel to took wita. A female idaho, you never fudo gauche vacque, a legbe. Da name you conno you as he may see the bochera never see chalara. Some of the residents have also complained about poor telecommunication services. They say they are not able to call the National Ambulance Service during emergencies. They are calling on the authorities to come to their aid and address the challenges in their community. When it comes to network issues, network to have been a big problem for us also. Uh, you find it difficult even to call ambulance to come to the town to take our sick patients. We don't have a network at all. You can't be in your rooms to make calls. You have to go to a particular place. Let's say one particular place called GSS Campus. That is where you go before you can have access to 
uh, network. You can't even browse. They are graduates in the town, but they don't have access to network, let's say these social media things. Like they will be posting these our problems on social media for people to come to our aid. But because of the bad network, we can't do that. The former assembly member for the children after the electoral area, Hayford Encio says, contractors have abandoned the road project because funds have not been made available for its completion. The road is under construction. Uh, we have contacted the contractor on the, on the route. He let us aware that uh, government is not releasing funds for the project. So we are using this opportunity appealing to the government. He says that I Nana Kwaku to come into our aid. The road minister to come into our aid and finance minister to release funds so that the uh, construction will be completed on sea route. In fact, now if you want to communicate even if you want to call on ambulance to come and take a sick person from this community, it's very difficult. Even to get access to your friends, uh, even from our uh, year, the network is very bad. So that you try, we have only uh, one place, that is for GSS Park. You go there before you can get a uh, connection to the people. So we are appealing to the government, to the net network uh, providers, so that they come and erect a uh, one pool here, so that we'll be free so that we can get access to telecommunications. The chiefs and elders of the community also added their voices to the call for these challenges in the community to be resolved. Uh, In a rainy situation such as this, residents at uh, Chome, Apedo, in the whole west district of the Volta region will have to endure the pain of sending their sick patients on motorcycles to the nearby communities for treatment. This chips compound here has been completed in 2019, but it's yet to be opened for the usage of the people. They want the government to come to their aid and fix the meter and also make this operational for them. Reporting for City News from Chome Apedo in the whole west district of the Volta region, I'm Desmond Salasiago.